Normal Heights, August edition. Got Jeremy back and Jesse Abanez on the real estate side. Over here at the Greenhouse Group yep. with your update for August. Today, we're going to talk about HELOCs, how to use them, how not to use them, and might be my favorite loan product of all time. Gang, the 116 is behaving differently than the rest of the county. So two numbers that you hopefully are going to be proud of and one you got to watch out for. You know, we're not abnormal heights for nothing up here in the 116, yeah. right? It's interesting, too, to talk about us as a zip code, right? Because we get thrown in together with University Heights, which I think you could agree is a completely different market, also from Kensington, yeah. right? And then us here in the normal, and all three, like, behave in interdependently of each other interdependently yeah. i think i had sure. that word right so here's something interesting that's happening in our zip code this month that you're not seeing across the rest of the county our inventory is actually going down yeah that's different that's very different right now as a matter of fact like insanely different like last month the county was up 46 percent. the county's up almost another 40 percent again yeah this last so it's like dude inventory is hockey sticking right. there's all kinds of weird stuff going on with that we don't have to get into that because our market action index is actually up two points so we're we're going further into the seller sided strong advantage it's wow. an interesting little narrative i thought this little quip would be important actually to go verbatim despite the fact that we're in a seller market prices have not yet resumed upward momentum however it is likely that given these conditions price will, prices will at least level off soon and here's the kicker if the increasing trend continues expect that prices could shift higher quickly again so the 116 guys is basically like a little powder keg is what they're trying to tell you like the rest of the world's kind of capitulating uh, the rest of the world being our county we're like the little island sitting up here on the mesa that's holding our own and then getting poised for an even bigger run-up yeah that's super interesting and what comes with higher prices it's creative loan products so it's a good yeah. segue into talking a little bit about HELOC so if you don't know what a HELOC is home equity line of credit there's a couple different ways to do it but the bottom line is they're being utilized a lot right now because of the fact that prices and loan amounts have become so high yeah. so people are using them in purchases to supplement their first loan and they're also using them in refinances because they don't want to touch their super nice rate so is this good or bad well, there's a couple different ways to think about it. I, I look at this as a pros and cons, right? Mm. The benefits of a HELOC are they're flexible. You can borrow against it and reuse it again. Um, and it's also very easy to get sometimes. Sometimes the payments are interest only, which mm. allows you to pay a smaller payment on a monthly basis. Right. Those are all good things. It's like behaving as your own bank, if you want to think of it that way. You can you can get super creative with these things, right? Because right? they're non-traditional forward paying loans. Yep. Some of the disadvantages lie in that same concept, right? So when you have an interest only loan, sometimes people just pay the minimum payment forever and they don't pay down the principal and they get caught with these things. So you have to be careful about that. They're also typically adjustable rate mortgages, which may or may not be a good thing right now. If rates yeah. do start to trend downward, we're gonna see a benefit there as well. So they ever do. Gotta pay attention to how you use these things, but could be a super creative way if you're a buyer or you're a homeowner right now to get a little bit of leverage out of your newfound equity. One, two, one, one, six. It feels like the eye of the storm right now for buyers and sellers, and maybe even if you're looking for some money also. And that's yeah. what we do down here in the corner of Adams and 36. We help bring like some clarity to all that chaos out there. So thanks for watching. We'll see you back next month. And if you have any needs, you know where to find us.